I thought I'd bring you along while I make some pork stock. Now I'm just back from the meat counter at my local Asian grocer and he chopped up two ham bones for me. And I'm going to make this in my Instant Pot. You see that in the background. So I prefer to do broth in my Instant Pot. I find the end result more gelatinous than the end result from cooking broth in a slow cooker. You know, I've done it both ways and I much prefer the result of the Instant Pot. So that's what I'm using today. Now I'm going to be putting carrots. These are obviously, these are dehydrated carrots and dehydrated celery, pink salt, peppercorns, a splash of apple cider vinegar, garlic and an onion, a bay leaf, and water. So let's just get started doing it. So I'm just going to start by putting the bones into the Instant Pot. I'm going to process these bones twice. And what I end up with, I'm going to pressure can. Okay. So the bones are in there. Now it's time to put the water in. want to go beyond the maximum. There. It's just below the line. I'm going to put in a third a cup of carrots. A third a cup or so of celery. Some peppercorns. A teaspoon of pink salt. Anyway. <laughs> Approximately a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, maybe a bit more. There. Some onion, a bay leaf, and garlic. So you can see it's basically at the maximum now that I've added a few more ingredients. Let's cover it up and turn it on. I want to make sure that my vent is on seal. Okay. And let's turn this on for two hours. Now, like I said, I'm going to process this twice. The only thing I'm going to add, aside from water, the second time is salt. So I've put away all my spices and whatnot except for the salt. I'm keeping that out. I'm going to process one round tonight and one round tomorrow after work. It's too late for me to start doing this on a working night if I want to do two rounds. Okay, so that's two hours. And I'll bring you back when I open up my Instant Pot. The two hours is up and the Instant Pot has come down from pressure. Let's open it up and check out this pork stock. Now it smells delightful, okay? Absolutely delightful. Here it is. You know, the aroma in this kitchen reminds me of Tortier, a uh, French Canadian pork pie. I'm just taking the bones out of the Instant Pot and placing them into a regular pot here. I'm now going to strain off the stock.
I'm going to let this cool down just a little bit and put it in the refrigerator. I'm also going to put the bones and all the, you know, things I added into a bowl and place that in the refrigerator and reprocess it tomorrow night. You know, ideally I should be reprocessing it right now, but it's late, it's bedtime. So I'll bring you back when I do that tomorrow. So these are from the first batch and these are from the second. There's not much of a difference in the color. I'm going to place these two in the fridge purely because it'll be easier to skim off the fat afterwards. And I'm going to can up this pork broth. So I'm just getting ready to can this up and I've skimmed the fat off. I wanted to show you how gelatinous it was. So I'm pretty impressed with that. Again, processing this under pressure in my Instant Pot was the best choice. I don't think I'm gonna be going back to using the slow cooker for doing my broths, however, you know, if that's what you have, use it. But I find this method saves a lot of electricity and it's quicker. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Why not give it a try?